as we have already seen in Node.js, like whatever task we do here, most of the thing goes asynchronous. So whenever there is some error occurs in an application, we need to go through the error handling. So while working with the Node environment and Express.js, we will not be able to go through the traditional try catch block things for the error handling. So let's see what are the possible ways here so that we can handle the incoming errors at runtime. For going through the error handling, you can either go for the node error handling concept or you can also implement the error handling in Express through the middlewares. For handling the errors in the node environment, you can refer to the error handling concepts of Node.js which uh, video tutorial is already present. But here we are doing the error handling thing in the Express using the middlewares. So as I earlier said, all the middlewares would be having request response and next these two arguments. But here, if I'm using that error handling, if I'm using that middleware for error handling, I'd be adding one more argument from here, that is the ERR. So whenever there is an error, we would be redirecting to this particular one. As you can see here, in this particular get, what we are doing here, we are knowingly raising an error, which is here, all right? Otherwise, if there is an error, we can simply redirect to this one. Uh, by putting the condition out there in this get request but here I haven't put any condition because forcefully I want to raise the error as soon as I will raise that this middleware will be in action as here I am calling the next and it is changed after that and right here what I'll do I'll set a status to this error with a particular message so let's see how I should run this program so first of all I'll have to start the server so now the server is running. Let's come to the browser. So as you can see here, as soon as I made the request in this port number 3000, oops, something went wrong. The message which I sent from here. All right. And uh, that is how the exception is handled. I didn't show the exception, uh, what the exact exception is there, but I simply sent a message on the user interface. So this is how you can plan to handle the exceptions on the client side using the express application now if you want to do something else you can plan it right here itself here I just sent a message but in other ways if you want to write them in a file uh, you can go for that as well you have to refer the IO uh, module which I covered in the node one so you can even make a log of all the errors occurring in your application